some people have been asking what happened to this channel and what happened to this channel was your host aka sky in the flesh has actually been giving in to her flesh okay now that wasn't funny like that was that's actually true but it's sad and you know when you're doing wrong you can't really at least i can't really uh because people actually can when, when you so there are people out there that's, that's called false prophets that's people who go out and try to tell you how to live right by god why they why they ain't living right i can't do that so I'm going to take a way back, way back, yeah, okay, yeah, I shouldn't be singing that, um, y'all know how I would, how I used to live with my husband's mom, now, I got saved in that house, not in that house, but while living there, I went on this nice retreat, all this stuff happened, I have a video about that, you can check that out, um, but, you know, I didn't realize that it just, having that encounter with God and like being at the retreat for however long wasn't enough like I know that might sound like really you didn't know that was enough no boo I didn't know it was enough I thought that I was strong enough like I'm not even gonna lie like I remember the day we came back me and my husband and my fiance at the time we were frustrated with each other you know, I really said each other each other and we were just like bickering about stupid stuff and we knew that we were just sad that we didn't live in a place. We didn't live on like a ministry campus, like, you know, um, lifestyle Christianity. We didn't live in like a ministry school. And it, it frustrated us, but you know, it, the thing that really messed up everything, my faith, was not continuing the relationship now I know I made a video a while back that I fell away because I did and then I came back kind of that video I was still struggling to maintain a relationship with God because of where I was living now y'all could be like yo you don't you're not supposed to make excuses it shouldn't matter you should do this you should that you should do that I don't know what else to how else to tell you like that's what that's what happened I my living space as a result i wasn't able to have alone time i couldn't even hear myself think um i could have went on prayer walks i did go on prayer walks but there's something about being alone and being in a room where you close the door and it's just you feel like there's nobody looking at you but god um and i was a babe bro i was a babe so i was anyway i wasn't i didn't keep up with it i didn't keep up with my word you know like, in the word, in the word. I didn't keep up with it. And when we moved, you would think, I thought that I was going to give God all the praise. I thought that I was just going to be fasting and just, you know, all this stuff. But no, I was like, yo, I'm in my own space. I can watch whatever I want and hear it. I can read my books. I can write. I can sing. Like, I could do all these things that I couldn't do before. You don't understand, living in a house, there were so many things I was limited to. I couldn't write. The one time I wrote was when I was like in, in Starbucks or in Panera. I couldn't sing because I didn't want people to hear me sing. Like that's just, those are my ways of expressing myself. So if I'm in a place where I can express myself, then there's no way I was going to try to talk to God. Like I tried, but it was obviously it wasn't enough. So when I got here, you know, I just let the devil just convince me of so many things. Oh, we can do this. This isn't harming anything. Oh, you can, um, you know, just small. I don't, I don't really know how it sounds to y'all, but at the same time, I don't care because I'm, I'm being honest with you. Like people, y'all try to act like you don't hear two sides. The other side that's not what God's saying is the devil. So you have to come to that, that term, that realization and just so many things I was just letting be okay. Oh, listening to this music is okay. Oh, repetitively listening to this music. Because I was the type of person, I wouldn't even listen to music like that much. And if I did, I would listen to um, this group that the neighborhood, This it's not a Christian band. I shouldn't have been listening to them. But anyways, I, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'm getting off track. Basically like, 
I didn't keep up my relationship with God. So that means that my guard was being let down more and more and more and more. And I felt myself slipping. And I knew that I, I felt like I couldn't come talk to God. And before I fell completely, before I hit my lowest point, I um, I would... I would pray every now and then. I'd be in the shower and I'd put on worship music and I'd be like, yo, I don't like how I'm living right now. I don't like this. God, like I surrender it all. Like I would say it, I would get out the shower and then nothing. Nothing. Went, around, went about the next day just like I didn't pray like that. And it's not that I ignored it. It was in the back of my mind. But I just, for some reason, it was like this spiritual weakness. It was this, I just couldn't do more. I couldn't, it wasn't fulfilling enough to just sit there alone trying to talk to God. It wasn't fulfilling enough to read the word. Like, I, what am I, 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 you know, I didn't even read, son. I didn't even read. And if I did, I probably played the Bible on my phone, on my app. There is nothing like actually reading the word. So I just want to say, okay, so I made a, I made a video before this explaining a little bit of this and some other stuff, current events that I just wanted to rant on about and gave you all of my opinion. Um, but I'm going to say it again because this is the verse video that I'm going to put out. If you're in a place where you're not at your lowest point, but you know you're, you're, you're downward spiraling, don't wait to talk to God and worship God and get back in that place with Him or just get in a new beautiful place with Him. Don't wait because... It all can it, it will all come crumbling down on you. That's what happened to me. And the thing is, the day that I it's so crazy that that happened. Like I had all these plans to do in my town and my community. Like, and then they told us we can't work anymore. And that same day it was when I hit my lowest point. The next day. I look back at everything that I was focusing on and I was paying attention to and I was like, yo, I wasted all of this time and now I'm probably never, this world will probably never see the world that we saw before all the shutdowns, before all the mandatory masks. We will probably never see that and I wasted all of this time. I don't want y'all to get to that place. If there's someone out there that knows what I'm talking about, you're already there, then come together and let's pray. But if you're not there yet, you don't want to be there. You don't want to, come on, just remember all the things that you wanted to do, that you were doing. You don't want to live in a place of regret. I have just stopped living in a place of regret and that was like that started in March at the end of March that's when all this stuff went down for me so I mean I feel good now talking to y'all about it and realizing that I can't live in the past and you know we it doesn't matter it just I mean it matters but you, you, you got to move forward because we don't have time. We are running out of time. Time isn't real anyway, but no, it is real in a sense. God, I, I, the Lord spoke to me while I was sleeping. Because, and you know what's so clever about this? I mean, God's all knowing. God, God spoke to me while I was sleeping. He didn't give me a dream. And he I mean, maybe he did, and he knows that, like, I'm not in a place to, like, really hear from him in my dreams. Like, no, nah, I just, I can't. Like, I'm not there yet. So he decides to speak to me while I sleep, and it woke me up. And what he said was, you need to come to me. Seek me right now. 
I just I just heard this strong time is short you need this now like don't waste another day don't waste another day because there's gonna come a time y'all when when God's presence is like not here it was so strong. It woke me up out of my sleep. And I'm like, even though I realized I did wrong, I wasn't right before the Lord. I still wasn't reaching out to God. Like, I, of course, when everything happened, like, yeah, I was getting down on my knees. I was seeking him out. I was worshiping. I was doing all these things. And I was, um, I feel good about where I am with God right now. But I wasn't. I didn't hear that, yo, you got to get this right now, you know, and it's a beautiful thing when the Lord can still use you, even though you haven't even tried to seek him out, he still wants to use you. The will that he made you for, it's your job, to, he wants you to fulfill it, he's, he's not going to stop knocking at your door, I mean, he will, but... Answer while he's knocking, before you not you're not able to anymore. The other day, um, no, it wasn't the other day. It was yesterday. I was listening to this song that I I heard playing at my job a lot, and it was so so full, and it was just all these images started coming into my head about a beautiful like romantic story. And I was like, yeah, it's typical. Like, yeah, it's a romantic story. What would I write about it? Like, what what would be the the main thing? Like, the conflict, the problem. What's 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 it gonna be about? When I when I looked out the window, I think no, I don't think the Lord, the Holy Spirit gave me. He downloaded another idea into my head. And can I tell you what it's about? <laughs> It's about current events. It's about the fact that we need to come together and expose the government and realize that it's about love. It's not about black and white. And they're trying to get us separated from not only from each other, but spiritually separated because you can't you can't live in this world and seek justice for this thing and still be in in depth love of Christ because you're supposed to know what's really going on you're supposed to know that these are operations being performed this is this is the world's a stage this is all an act this is a setup so that's what the book is about it's going to be about this girl who's just like you know like BLM and this dude is over here just loving just loving 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 and the girl's like I don't understand like all I want is peace you know all I want is peace and he's like well you are seeking out a false peace the true peace is in Jesus but anyways that's that's a topic for another discussion I think I'm going to start an author tube channel where I talk about books and writing and like stuff I'm working on so that's just something totally different so thank you guys for listening to this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up um I have another video coming right out after this sometime today or tomorrow um let me know in the comments uh what you guys want me to cover as far as stuff going on in the world if there's stuff that no one's talking about if there's stuff that is kind of under wraps then let me know because there's a everyone's talking about the same stuff I don't mind it, you know, but I feel like there's other stuff that might not be getting, this, getting that much attention and stuff that I probably haven't even heard and I would like to research. So, thank you. Love you. Have a great day. Bye. Um,